Hello all, welcome back to Career with Vasant YouTube channel. My name is Vasant. I hope you all are doing well. As you know, there's a series where we are discussing about the company related interview question and answer. I have already read I have already released Infosys part one video about the front end developer interview. So that was primarily focused on three to five years of experience. So same a follower of mine who attended the first round has also attended the second round actually she got an offer from the emphasis so what was the question that was asked for her in the second round so this video is recorded on june 16 2024 just a week prior this interview had happened so all the question that was asked her she had noted on and shared it with me i'm going to explain all the answers to that particular question and a very important thing if you want me to make more good content like this around this so if you recently attended any interview please mention the questions asked in those interview in the comment section i can find it over like a lot of interview platform but you sharing it will help me a lot you can mention it in the comment section i'll try to make, make a video on that okay now without wasting further time let's get started question number one what are props in react js okay props i think most of you already know in a very very simple words in a very vague term that everybody understand if i have to explain props are nothing but the parameters that you pass for a function in a very simple words if i have to tell but if you have to like very profound way of explaining imagine building a lego house each lego piece has a properties that define its color size and shape correct i think i'm, I'm sure all of you might have played lego during your childhood days so where each lego will have a different color size and shape similarly in react props are properties passed down to a parent component to a child component from a parent component you pass certain attributes to child component with which the child component will render okay that's called the props okay they act as a way of components to communicate and share data obviously because you're passing from the parent component to child component some value so they act as a way to share the data this allows you to create a reusable and dynamic components okay see it is only because of props we are able to build a reusable components let's say we have defined a button and a color is passed to the prop to that particular uh, button then we could render a button with blue color and orange color red color all of this is possible only because of the property of props so props is very very important interview topic in most of the service based companies and mid level product based companies so please know this very much in depth okay so whatever i told if you are able to explain in the interview make sure this question you are through okay go to question number 2 uh, what are the different types of components that exist in react you, i think most of you are aware that two types of components one is a class based component another one is a functional component okay what is a class component these are blueprints defining how a component behaves and renders they use a class keyword and allow for functionality like state management and life cycle methods functional component these are simpler and more concise they are pure function that take props input and return jsx and describe what the component renders they are a great choice for presentational components okay well this uh, definition there pure functions is not necessarily always true even functional components can be impure this definition actually taken from the official documentation but uh, if to correct it pure function components need not to be always pure they can be impure as well okay pure impure i think most of you are aware Det pure functions are deterministic non pure functions or impure functions are non deterministic okay so we cannot determine the output of a pure function uh, we cannot determine the output of a functional component all the time it also can vary what if you are using a like random number inside the component the output can vary okay now we have a two component class based component and functional components i am sure most of you watching this video might have started your career with the functional based components you might have used class based components very less class based component actually is a very structured way of developing the code but it has lot of boilerplate code and a lot of confusion over this keyword because of which the functional components have become very popular okay that's the fundamental difference between class based and functional component in case you want to know very much in depth i have made a detailed video about complete react js interview preparation where i have explained this very much in depth that video will be on the screen also in the description section you can go ahead and check it out okay let's go to question number 3 what are states in react js very very important question uh, intentionally i have picked it okay this look very simple for most like what are states you create variable inside a component and that becomes a state but you need to have a proper definition for states okay so what are states in react js think of state as an internal memory of a component so state is nothing but a memory of a component as long as the component is alive or as long as the component is visible on the screen this states will have a value states also will uh, will have a value so it's nothing but a memory of a component states very very important definition you need to know okay it allows components to react to user interactions data changes you can use a use state hook to manage the state in a functional component okay so use state is a way in in, uh, in the functional component where you can create the variables you can create the state variables and whenever you want to change certain things let's say that whenever you want to re-render a screen on a particular change you can use the state variables to do that okay i asked this question in the long back i think some of you might have answered it let's say you create a variable called let x whose value is initialized to 10 inside a functional component or a class based component whether that let x 
is a state or not for a particular component if it justify your answer in the comment section why it is not okay now let's go to question number 4 before i start explaining question number 4 as i told in the beginning of the video i'm a creator who create content in the front end and interview preparation there are so many content in my channel which is useful for interview preparation and front end development if you not already subscribe to my channel please subscribe like the video now itself if you like the three question that i've already discussed the reason being more likes and more comments will bring more impression more impression means more people will watch my content which will help me to make like more good content okay so please like and comment whatever you felt so far subscribe to my channel that will help me very much okay and let's go to question number 4 what are state less components in react very very important interview question again now you know what is state state is a memory of a component correct are in very simple words whatever the variables you create inside a component is state of a component if a component do not have that state or do not have that variable then we could call them as a stateless component okay same you could see here example of the stateless component i've created a simple component called function greetings which takes the props i would render props dot name here and if you, you there is no state here we are not changing anything inside the component it is purely a, it's a pure function only if it gets something it will return something if you're not sending whatever uh, the props required here there's no changes for this particular component my suggestion is like every time whenever you're building an app try to make use of as much as pure components as possible that will make your processing very efficient okay now or even the stateless component as many more stateless components you can do that is also very very helpful for your project exercise number 5 what are arrow functions in js arrow functions as you all know is a concise way to write a javascript function they are they are often referred for the cleaner syntax especially when dealing with the props and state in react component okay very simple example i have written here you can create components also using the help of uh, um, arrow functions now a lot of people ask me wasn't is there advantage of using the arrow functions over a regular functions see from the performance point of view there is no advantage both perform at the same time i have i have said a lot about it arrow functions do not have an edge over a normal function with respect to performance so you can get rid of that from your mind only thing i feel is it's very concise like you don't have to write like function keyword then the function name then the arguments all of it you can just create like a how we create a variable and we can get started that is the advantage i see like code the smaller code to achieve certain things compared to creating the entire function that's the advantage that i see from the arrow functions you can use as much as arrow functions as possible in a, in your project that is definitely much more beneficial and concise in terms of the coding okay let's go to question number 6 what is redux and when to use it so infosys in the part one of my video also this question was asked by an interviewer so i have explained redux very much in depth in that particular video i'm going to put the link on the screen also in the description section please go ahead and watch the part one video i'm going to put that specific timings also to save your time you can go ahead and watch that redux in depth okay so i'm i'm skipping this question for now question number 7 what is jsx in react js this is a very very important interview topic for most service company this question will be asked js is a syntax extension that allows you to write a html like structure within javascript code this makes it easier to visualize and build user interfaces in react component okay i'm sure everybody who have used react have already used a jsx but what is jsx is a syntax ex uh, extension that allows you to write html like structure within javascript code so that is the beauty of jsx where earlier HTML was separate, CSS was separate, JavaScript was separate. Now with the JSX concept, they all of them like put together in one. That is the advantage of using the JSX. But there is also disadvantage to it because finally the browser will not understand JSX as it is. Correct? That has to be broken down into a thing that browser can understand. So that is a disadvantage. But from the developer point of view, we have an advantage. Okay. Now let's go to question number eight. What is strict mode in JS? Okay. This is very very important. A lot of people do not use a strict mode, and you have to use it. React strict mode or in JavaScript strict mode is a development tool that helps identify potential issues in your application code. It enables warnings and deprecated features, lifecycle messages, and other potential problems, allowing you to catch them early during the development. So, if you are not using the strict mode, JavaScript itself is not having so much conditions when we are building the project. I have written a small code for your reference. Okay. So, let us see this particular example. Function greet takes a name. Console dot log hello. whatever the name that you are passing and you are of age years old okay so what if you see here what i have done here is assigning to undeclared variable in line number 2 whatever age you are seeing right that variable is not declared anywhere we are, uh, we are assigning the value as 30 to it and we are logging it okay let's say if i run the code i'm getting an output like hello alice you are 30 year old okay despite the variable was not created we are able to get the value of it just a question to audience as i have not declared what is the type of the variable still i am able to use the value of age 
you mention in the comment section whenever the type is not defined what is the default type of a variable okay now let's go to with strict mode how this code would behave okay same code only thing is i have added the use strict in the top okay so now if i run the code see i am seeing an error age is not defined same code same everything is same just because i use the use strict it became a strict mode and age has to be defined before it's getting used so this is the advantage so i would i recommend everyone to use use strict mode in your project okay or you can use typescript also for your project where lot of these errors which could potentially come in the production might be caught much earlier so i would highly recommend everyone to use the use strict mode okay so these are all the top 8 question not the top 8 question i think the 8 question that rasna in info is round 2 for my follower who shared the questions with me okay i'm sure you like the video if you watch did not watch the part 1 go and watch the part 1 link in the description section if you watch part 1 and part 2 i'm sure most likely if you attend any info interview coming days you are going to clear that particular interview okay now if you already if you not like the video please like the video share the video with friends let them also get benefit from it comment whatever you felt honestly that will help me to make more good content if you attend any interview recently please mention those comments and the company name in the description section i'm going to come in the comment section i'm going to make a video on that see in my channel i have lot of content i have more than 18 plus mock interview across various different level fresher mid level experienced engineer i'm going to put that link on the screen also in description section please go and watch the mock interview before attending your next interview because you you understand what are the mistakes that you would potentially make and you can fix them i have a 36 plus videos which is dedicated for the javascript related interview you can watch that i have dedicated complete react js interview preparation you can watch that there's so much good content in the channel please make a well utilization of it and subscribe to my channel that will help me to make more such good content and if you have any feedback please mention it in the comment section thank you so much for watching catch you in the next video